Today we look at Grand Theft Auto's first major challengers. Saints Row 2 begins five years after the climactic ending of Saints Row 1. It's an open world and action adventure game, much in the same vein as Grand Theft Auto or True Crime. The question is, how does it hold up to those benchmarks? We're about to find out. Let's get things started with the gameplay. Now, the player is capable of maneuvering through the environment, utilizing multiple types of vehicles. When it comes time to fight, they can use both melee and ranged weapons to defend themselves. As you successfully complete the first mission, you're basically given the entire game map to play in. There are no limits, no lines, unlike other games like this, for example Grand Theft Auto, where you'll be given a certain area until it more opens up. In-game missions are unlocked by earning respect points from many games and side quests, which give these missions a purpose. And although missions can be completed, story missions can be completed at any time, they're not necessary. You can play them in any way you want, and you can play each of the three distinct stories at any point. Unlike a lot of these games, you are given the ability to create your own hero. You can customize your clothes, your vehicles, this gives this game a large amount of replayability and more than that allows you to really put yourself into the game. Overall the gameplay earns an 8 out of 10. It is without question a fantastic experience. The only detraction to score at all are the mini games, some of which feel a little like they weren't really trying that hard. They can bring the game to a stop when you have to play these things to up your respect bar. Next up let's take a look at the graphics. Now this game came out in 2008 and the graphics hold up pretty well. There are no popping graphics after long cutscenes, and you'll find very few complaints about the look. The character models are greatly designed, and each of the heroes and villains are unique, and have a real world flair to them that a lot of games in this genre just simply don't have. Overall, the graphics earn an 8 out of 10. These graphics are really good, and they hold up quite well for a 6 year old game. Next, we'll take a look at the soundtrack. This is one of the few open world games that allows you to alter your voice. You have three for each gender, and on top of that, you have plenty of other well voice acted characters throughout the game. One scene in particular, a death scene, but I won't reveal who. You really have an emotional investment because the character feels so realistic. Now musically, you mostly work with your radio. You can even go through the game stores and buy custom tracks to create your own radio station, adding further customization to the title. Overall, the soundtrack earns an 8 out of 10. It did a fantastic job. Next up, we'll take a look at the story. The game's story is pretty basic. You are the leader of a gang in shambles after your long absence having been in a coma for five years. Now you have to restore your gang to glory once again. This leads to a massive four-way gang war between you, the Brotherhood, the Sons of Somni, and the Ronin, with each being a different stereotype of what a gang is. The Ronin are the Triads, the Brotherhood would be kind of like an American gang like the Crips or the Bloods, and the Sons of Somni being a Haitian voodoo cult. This game takes a lot of twists and turns. While staying serious enough to keep you invested in the story, the boss battles in particular with the leader of each gang can be really, really inventive. Overall, the story earns a perfect 10 out of 10. It is, in every way, one of the few games in this genre that will legitimately get you involved in the narrative from beginning to satisfying conclusion. Finally, let's take a look at customer care. This game was fully developed with no DLC required, and what DLC there was was extra content. In other words, nothing that you DLC'd actually added to the main story. It all took place in other areas. You can tell the developer cared greatly about this franchise and had a great deal of love for the product. There's care given and is clearly visible and greatly respected. The customer care for this game earns a 10 out of 10. It did an amazing job with the title, really showing what we all should be able to expect from a video game. Overall, Saints Row 2 earns a 44 out of 50. It is an amazing title. If you don't own it, you need to play it and buy it. It is really that good. Till next time, my name is Vega Goose, saying if you have anything else you need gamer related, head over to holdtheline.com. This is my opinion, what's yours? I'll see you next time.